Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. My name is Sanjay Prakash and today in this video we will discuss another important topic. You know that we can configure custom actions in Microsoft Dynamics 365 over Power Apps, right? Custom actions is introduced to define custom messages, right? You know that there is create, update, delete, many standard operations or actions are already available. But if you want to have a custom message or custom action for yourself for different business needs, you can configure custom actions and that custom action can be called from JavaScript and can be called from other processes, right? Now in this video, I will tell you how we can configure a custom action and that custom action can be called from a Dynamics 365 or model driven app JavaScript. And once the JavaScript calls that custom action in the background, I have already associated a plugin onto into that message because you know that custom action creates a custom message. And in the plugin registration tool, we can also register plugins against that custom action. That is a big thing. Now that's why I have, so in this video, I will touch every stage. I will write a JavaScript to call custom action. I'll configure a custom action and also I will configure a plugin so that everything is wired up in a shorter manner. Now let us see without wasting time. So this is my screen and here I have created or configured a custom action right to create a custom action you can go to power apps and in the power app solution you can add your uh, custom action right uh, by adding components now this is the custom action now here i have given my custom action as name of the uh, custom action the unique name is soft underscore my custom action now this soft underscore is the publisher that i have taken for my solution and uh, here you can notice here notify here that this is for global this is not specific to any entity this solution uh, this custom action is designed or configured to run global that's why it is non selected so this tutorial is a uh, tutorial is for calling global custom actions it's not specific to an entity so uh, from any entity you can call it now this is a global custom action and here I have defined one input parameter whose name is my input param which is of type string and direction is input because it is input parameter and this is the my output param which is output parameter which is direction is output and here we will see I have not added any step you have also authority to add different steps here in this custom action but my intention is I don't want to uh, you know uh, add any steps here rather I want to call a plugin on this message right this is important many of the projects are you know having these requirements now simple this is the custom action I have created one input parameter another output parameter and I have activated it right now let me close it because I, I don't I don't want to open a lot of uh, windows so that it will make slow understand this this is global custom action I have defined one out input parameter another output parameter right and the name is my input param output parameter is my output param right now once you activate this always remember you have to validate the custom action in your metadata how to validate you can copy this and you can go to your web api url so this is my web api url api data v 9.2 then dollar symbol and then metadata now you can tell me how i can get this url for your organization you can go to your power apps and then the power apps uh, if you go to uh, the gear icon you will see developer resources in the developer resources you will find that web api endpoint this is the complete endpoint url for your organization right now you can copy this and at the end of the url you can put dollar metadata once you put dollar metadata it will give you all the metadata information of uh, your organization or environment and here if you search your uh, custom action name it will give you a block here can you see that 
my uh, custom action name is uh, my custom action name is my custom action you can see here soft underscore my custom action now if you find it here in the metadata then you are okay and you can also see the parameters this is input parameter that is mentioned here and this is the output parameter right this is the response so this actually custom action creates a request response action web api action so that you can call it from javascript through web api right so once it is validated the next thing is you have to write down a javascript to call that action because i have created this action here right so i have already closed that action i have configured and i have now my requirement is i have to create a javascript and I have to call that JavaScript from a ribbon, right? Uh, from a command bar. So I have navigated to Sales Hub application. Sales Hub is a model driven app. You can take any application, uh, any model driven app to edit your command bar. Now, when you edit this model driven app in preview mode, you can add command bar here, right? If you go to here option, you can use new commands. Right, I have used new commands and added this call action. And this is the custom command I have added here. Now it's because I want to call that custom action from click on, on the click of this button. So in the uh, property I have mentioned here. First I have mentioned the ac action, uh, sorry, icon as web resource, the key web resource checker icon. That's why it is showing an icon. And in the below, I have given the tooltip tooltip description of the button then some accessibility text then below this is important action i want to call a javascript action on the click of this button so that in turn in return the javascript will call the custom action through web api now i have used run javascript as an action and here in the library i have created a new web a new web resource of type javascript and associated my javascript in this web resource now if you check my web resource you will see this is my web resource and in the web resource which is type javascript i have associated my javascript to call the custom action now let us analyze what javascript we have written right now before populating this let me go to my notepad and explain you what is the javascript i have written now this is the function I have written function name is call custom action from JavaScript. You can give uh, give as you desire. Next I have taken a variable global context. In previous versions of Dynamics you could uh, you could use xrm.page but as because it is Dynamics 365 online you should use xrm utility get global context to get the global context of the form right of your application next i have used a server url variable and uh, from the global context variable i am using get client url to get the current server url right next because this server url is required right because uh, if i will not find the server url then how can i hit the web api call so the server uh, server url will be retrieved so this this will actually retrieve this one this server url up to this one right so this, this will return dynamically then i have taken a variable action name and this action name i have given the unique name of the action i have told you the publisher name underscore the action name this action name should be copied from your metadata or you can copy from your uh, action next i have declared a input parameter value variable and in this input parameter value, I am reading the current login user ID through global context user settings. And next, I am using a data variable which is a JSON type variable. And in the JSON type variable, I am adding one input parameter. And this input parameter value is assigned to this input parameter value. Right? And I have already told you in the action, I have defined two parameters. One is input parameter with this name and another output parameter with this name my output param right so i am assigning the i have assigned here the input parameter value and through the data json object and this line of code requires 
to build the request object HTTP request object to call the web API of our Dynamics 365. You can see here in the sort uh, in the server URL, I'm passing slash API data v 9.2, then action name, right? This action name is initialized here. So this line of code is required. And this line of code creates a HTTP or XML HTTP object so that we can call uh, a web API from JavaScript. Next, request on ready state change function. Instead that if ready state change is 4 ready state is 4 that means it is completed successfully right if the on ready state change uh, now we are checking if the status is 200 or 204 then action is called successfully if the status is not 200 or not 200 0 then there is some error right this is javascript if and else so alerting this action ca called successfully then in the result variable we are parsing the json response from the action right now as i have told you i have created a plugin to assign this output variable i will tell you where i am assigning this output variable now once the output variable is assigned i can read the output variable of the custom action using javascript result dot output parameter right if you have multiple output parameters you can use result dot your output parameter name like that if you have multiple input parameter you can use uh, then comma then one more line for next input parameter now it is done last line is request dot send json dot stringify data now this line of code will send a request uh, javascript, javascript call request to our dynamics or power environment web api uh, to call the custom action now the when the custom action will be called i have already associated a plugin let us analyze the plugin now this is the plugin i have created a simple plugin and i have given the class name as custom action call and here the generic uh, three four lines is required right creating context object factory object and service object if it is required you can put it here otherwise you can leave it now using a variable this is c sharp language right in the c sharp i am i have taken a variable my input parameter and i am reading this context input i am reading the input parameter from the custom action using context dot input parameters and this is the parameter name i have defined in the custom action and after reading this i can take it for other purposes also but let me keep it simple now next context dot output parameters my output parameter so this is the output parameter name i have defined in my custom action when i have configured and i'm assigning this value to this right this is a output parameter this is a string i'm assigning this value to this output parameter reading the input parameter in the plugin from a custom action and assigning the output parameter in the plugin now this plugin is registered against plugin agitation tool right you can see here now if you check here this plugin is registered on custom action now the message is soft underscore my custom action normally you have seen create update delete like that messages but now you can see soft underscore my custom action why it is there because this custom action is the custom message that we have created through actions so that's the beauty if you create your custom message you can call it call any plugin on that message but the thing is if you are creating a global uh, custom action then the primary entity will be known if you could have created any entity specific uh, custom action then sh there should be a primary entity here right like that it is i am calling from post operation then synchronous and updated this step right now this plugin that i have written will be called on the custom message that i have configured right so three things we have done one is the uh, plugin registration tool to register my plugin right let me close this i don't need right now 
next this is the javascript which is used to call uh, uh, which is used to call the custom action on the button click right now let me close this so next is to to add the button right in the command uh, to add the button on the um, form ribbon right form command bar you can see here this is the sales of application i have added this command call action and associated to the run javascript and library is the, this one and this is the function i have written in the javascript right the same function i am calling now once i associate or wire up all these things and click on play then you will see this custom action now if you click this it will immediately call the custom action that i have created and whatever i have defined in the success part it will give you the message action called successfully now if i will click it the output parameter will also be displayed can you see that so this is the value i have assigned to my output parameter now you can understand how you can leverage your plugin and plugin for the custom application custom action for your need right so this is very very widely used uh, usage of custom action integrating with plugin and uh, javascript i hope you understand how it works and uh, if you have any queries you can uh, put me in comment right thank you guys for your time i will come with more videos uh, tomorrow see you again bye